Hey guys, welcome back. This is Emmy with Android Power. Redmi Note 5 Pro got another MIUI 10 OTA update that is based on Oreo 8.1 and the build number is 10.2.1.0. In this video, I will tell you what are the changes in this update and will give you a review of this update. The update comes with few changes to system. Also, the update size is 502 MB. It will be different if you are on any other MIUI build. This update is still not released for all users as of now. I have downloaded the full ROM and flash through recovery. So I have updated my phone. Now let's go to system settings about phone and as you can see I am on MIUI 10 version 10.2.1.0 and the Android version is Oreo 8.1 based on December security patch which is good as of now. We also have new follow badges in about phone. You can consider this as a feature because I don't think so Xiaomi will give us some useful stuff. Anyways, coming to the changes, according to some users or my experience, th this is the fastest MIUI ROM I have ever used in my Redmi Note 5 Pro. You can see the performance, it's really smooth. You can feel the smoothness after updating your device to its latest version. So back to topic, congratulations. First we have got ugly nav bar. Don't get me wrong, stock android is my favorite but I don't think so. This stock android nav bar looks great on MIUI. You can't even change this. Also if you swipe left right between nav bar, an animation will appear but it does nothing. A broken gesture I think. If we go to app vault, you have the same stuff. As you can see the tiny icons widgets on the bottom. You will see the animations of these icons goes up and down based on your scrolling. This is nice thing in this update. You also have some updated widgets in this section. Also you will see a security widget here in this update. If we go to system settings, then display, contrast and colors. We are not getting color circle over here which we saw on POCO F1. If we go to notification and status bar, now we can disable the notification shade on the lock screen. You can enable or disable this option for the notification shade. As you can see notification panel is now not showing over here after enabling this option. Also there is a new option in home and recent tab, which is show suggestions. Now with this new option, if you go to recent tab, now you can see suggestions on the top of the screen like cleaner, security screen, find apps or manage apps. If you tap on any of these options, you can go to respective settings. Now let's talk more about the UI. If we go to lock screen and if you swipe to the left, now it's been replaced with the wallpaper crucial instead of quick settings panel. It will give you some random stuff about blogs. It has some amazing wallpapers. You can give it a shot. Some nice stuff over here. Regarding the voice calls, there is a HD icon on the status bar for VOLT or HD calling. In my testing, there is no issue with network and calling via GOVLT have no issues. Now talking about the camera in this update. You still can't switch between lenses. I have tested the shutter speed of the camera which has been reduced. It's lagging while taking multiple pictures. Regarding the other features of the camera app, there are no new modes. Picture quality is fine but I have tested this 1080p recording at 60 frames per second. And in my opinion, 1080p recording gives faded and washed out colors and less stabilization as compared to 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second is still better than the 1080p 60 frames per second. Regarding the location, I tried locking my location from outdoors and indoors and it instantly locked my location when I enable the GPS which is a good thing in this update. Regarding the PUBG, the ROM is so smooth in gaming but still you can't play PUBG in highest settings so don't know when we can play PUBG in high graphics. Talking about benchmarks, Antutu version 7 score is 1,13,711 and the Geekbench score for single CPU core is 1,329 and multi-core score is 4908 so that's pretty much for this video overall this is a good update and if you guys have any issues or any queries do let me know in the comment section hit the like button if you find this video helpful thanks for watching and i see you guys next time